Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're continuing on with our Carl Franz campaign, and it's, um, yeah, I mean, the elves are here and everything, it's all getting a bit mental, um, which is awesome, which is awesome, um, you know, with a, with a universe where chaos is a literal thing, um, you know, that you can touch and feel and be stabbed by, uh, yeah, it just makes sense that chaotic things should occur, and so I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, also, um, Sword of Cain is on his way, um, Yep, the Ever Queen has it, which is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. So now not a master of healing units, but also killing mine. So real bad. But I guess this is a good way to get the Sword of Cain, is it not? So maybe some benefits there. But also, can you imagine Carl Friends taking up the Sword of Cain? Um, things could get crazy real quick. Uh, I'm wondering. If I should take it or not. I think the wise move would be not to, but I think us humans, us easy, corruptible humans, would pick up that sword, immediately feel the power, and just have no choice but to wield it at that point. I, I don't think they'd be able to fight against it, something as powerful as the Sword of Cain. I think they'd immediately, like, immediately take it and be totally cool using it and not realise the damage it's being, you know, that's being done. So I might end up taking it. I might end up taking it. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. Because, yeah, it'd be a great excuse to have it, right? It's a, it's so fun having the Sword of Cain. I don't think it's something I've really managed to get all that often in campaign. I think I might have got it once and gone, oh, that's fun. <laughs> but that's it. You know, it was only a small campaign I didn't even finish. So it's uh, it's great to get. Anyway, Theodoric Gossa here is going to be replenishing. Um, he'll probably end up coming up this way. Or I might march him straight across to help fight off some elves, which would be good. Uh, Karl Franz is heading back to Altdorf. So he can hopefully mop up uh, Mayron here, and then maybe to Marienburg. It depends where they land, but I can I can see them heading towards Marienburg, um, or perhaps they will just come up here to help out Amon. In which case, Eckhard Meyer is going to be in a lot of trouble, because yeah, this is not a big enough garrison to fight off this army, and probably another full stack. So we may have to go into recruitment mode and try and get a bunch of regiments renowned for him and things. Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. I'm going to prioritize the basic units rather than the regiments renowned because I think the regiments renowned are a bit cheaty. Um, I'll spend any money I have left after I build, you know, another another three um, units here. So it'll probably be more spearmen, I imagine. I might get some more archers in just for some cheap um, damage there. We'll see. Uh, a bit worried because things like high elf archers and loathen sea guard will just completely decimate me. They are so much better than uh, the Empire Archers. Hell, even Peasant Bowmen are better. Which is kind of sad, really. Um, it's the range that really screws them over. But you can't make crossbows obsolete, can you? That would be a bit of a pity. But anyway, um, and yes, over here we did have that one battle that was a little bit costly. It was a little bit costly. It would be nice to get some more units up here at some point. I'm not sure what would be good for them. Um, Tatasols, maybe. Perhaps. Uh, I mean, the White Wolves we could recruit now, technically, because we have taken uh, Midland. So the idea of the White Wolves coming up here to help against the Norskins, I kind of like that. I like that. I like that idea. Because, you know, it is keeping Midland safe if uh, Nordland is kept safe. So, yeah, we'll work it out. Anyway, let's go to the next turn. Oh, wait, nope. Hockland is uh, is back on, back on track. So, yeah, let's get that growth and trade income bonus. And let's move on. Oh, and here's Alariel. It looks like she is headed for Marienburg, and not actually a huge army, so we might be okay. We might be able to deal with these two armies and get a free Sword of Cain out of the deal. Oh, and Wintersooth actually wants to have another go at us, do they? Oh, this is interesting. Except they're not actually attacking yet. They're just stopping me from replenishing, which is very annoying. <gasps> Bretonia coming to the defense. Hell yeah. Nope, they lost. Br Britonia lost. Oh my god, Britonia lost. <laughs> a stranger comes. So a cloaked stranger from the misshrouded land of Albion approaches with a request. He is of sinister aspect, but assures you his intentions are good. Now this is probably the perfect time for someone to come from Albion, right? Um, offering aid. Uh, which is sort of interesting. I, I mean... I think we'd be more inclined to believe them, given the fact that everything has gone mental and is trying to kill us. Um, any any aid would probably be seen as a good thing. 
Um, I think we'd be more likely to take those kind of risks with this situation, with, like, the elves having stabbed us in the back, you know? So, I think for once, I'm actually going to grant this request. Okay, because you got to remember, Karl Franz, he's not in Altdorf. Right, he's not in Altdorf, so I like to think that it's not Karl Franz making the decision, but one of his advisors. Mostly, so I can get a bit of cash. Chaos Corruption I'm kind of cool with, because everyone seems to be pretty happy. Like, public order's not a huge problem, and we are starting to build some temples. So, and it's only for five turns, too, so, like, it's fine. So, I'm going to go with the extra money, um, because I think that this would be a time that, like, Karl Franz's advisors, freaking out because he hasn't been in Altdorf for quite some time, are going to be uh, more susceptible to some agent of chaos coming and be like, Hey, mate, uh, I've got a load of gold. Can I do something? He doesn't really say what he's doing. So, yeah, I want to make the place better. So put up some monuments or something. I want to put up a Stonehenge, but evil. And they're like, yeah, that sounds great. Oh, Volmar the Grim's available. Hell yeah. Volky boy. Ah, oh, Voltmar the Grim. Grand Theogenist. Head of the uh, Cult of Sigma. Wonderful. And also, um, he is an elector. Not elected count, but he does have a vote. Um, which is kind of cool. So, regimes cannot be maintained without strict discipline. Theodoric Gorsa is now uh, adding a bit more. I, I don't like that it does that. That zoom button, I hate that it goes to the stat screen. I wish it went to Theodoric Gorsa instead, honestly. But it is what it is. So, uh, provincial instability is going to be causing some problems. Difficulty level is minus four. I hate the difficulty level bonuses. I find it really irritating. Um, I just, yeah, it's why I don't usually put the difficulty up. But I want to fight bigger, you know, bigger armies. Because it seems like no one is really fielding full stacks, even on this difficulty. Which is very strange. Um, but I guess that's in sort of... That could be in tandem with things like the buffs to ports, maybe. I think maybe they're just trying to limit the income of a lot of places. Because there are so many territories to take now. I don't think they want everyone running around with full stacks all the time. I think that could be their plan. You know, make smaller armies more useful. So you can spread out a bit more. And uh, not just have nothing but 20 stack armies. Which I, I really like, actually. If that's what they were going for. But, obviously, as the player, you're still inclined just to fill an army up, right? So... You know, there is that. Um, oh, also, I did have a comment, by the way, um, which I did read. Uh, I don't think I've responded to it yet. I haven't been able to respond to a load because I'm, I'm getting so many from you guys. So thank you for all the, you know, all the comments. It's amazing. Um, but as you can imagine, it takes time to go through them all. I'm getting hundreds. Um, way above average at the moment with uh, the release of the new DLC. So I'll get to them. But I am, I am reading. Like, I am skimming through a lot of them just to, you know. See what people are saying. But yeah, someone was saying, need more Reichsguard in Karl Franz's army. Yes, yes I do. Absolutely. But the difficulty here is that I really want to have a second army run by a general, which I will call Kurt Helborg. Um, that's kind of what I want to do, because he's the Reichsmarshal. So yes, Karl Franz is accompanied by Reichsguard, but it's Reichsguard led by somebody else. Um, you know, by the Reichsmarshal that's usually at his side. So I kind of wanted to do that. Um, so Karl Franz's army... I didn't want to be full of rights guard, but he would be accompanied by rights guard all the time. And if I was going to have two armies like that, it's great just to have a cavalry contingent army following him around, because having cavalry as reinforcements, they're going to be able to get to the battle straight away, because they're all cavalry, right? Um, but I still might get rid of the pistoliers, given the fact that I have uh, the borderman. So it would be nice to get some more rights guard here anyway. So we may do that. We may very well do that. Um, so... Oh, I feel like I need to get to Marienburg more than anything else. I mean, Bar Marienburg's got some pretty good defences, but with the Sword of Cain, I don't know how I'm going to stop Alariel, is the problem. And I cannot afford to lose Marienburg. So I'm wondering if I should just set up a... Oh my god, should, should Volkmar just run in straight away and start smashing people to bits? I kind of like that idea. The idea of the arch Archlector that I made Elector Count failing in his mission... To bring Sigmar to Marienburg. I think Volkmar turning up, you know, in response to that. Also, just in time to stop some elves. That feels appropriate. So, I'm going to try that. So, he is at level 4, which makes me wonder what he's going to have um, access to. Not the Grand Hammer of Sigmar, which is super annoying that he doesn't have that. So, I guess I'm just going to go with uh, Emperor's Finest, maybe. Or... Uh, Oh, no, that does do flagellants. Okay. So let's do that. And, yeah, he doesn't have any of his special ones for, 
Yeah, I can't get, like, Blessed Holy War or anything. I need to be level 10 for that. Oh, I just want to make flagellants better. Gutting. Speaking of which, can I even... I can't even recruit flagellants here. Damn. At least I get the Tattersols. That's something. And... Hmm. I don't, I don't feel any of these are particularly appropriate. Um, I mean, maybe the Lumidark? Hmm. Is she on an eagle? I can't see her, sadly, so I can't tell if she's on an Oh, actually, I can tell if she's on an eagle. She's not. She's on foot. Um, that's the thing. You can always tell on the campaign map, because they obviously change. So that's something. But, uh, yeah, Luminarch might be worthwhile. Also, Gundam and Shaw fires. Um, I mean, Marienburg is a hotbed for mercenaries, and these are mercenaries, so I'm tempted to bring them out, too. Um, very tempted. But, yeah, maybe just a bunch of free company would be the most appropriate things. And pretty damn versatile. Having these guys on the walls, I can get some damage in. You know, while they're approaching. And they will fight on the walls, like, fairly well. So, I might go with that. But yeah. I might not even have time to recruit them, sadly. So yeah, if that's the case... Maybe I should... Get... Gundam and Shorefires. And the Silver Bullets, just so we got some guns. It means I won't be able to get the Temple of Luminarch, though. I'm getting the Temple of Luminarch, screw it. Oh, hello, get a chariot. Oh, brilliant. Now, war machines will be cheaper. Yay. That's bizarre, but sure. Okay, so that's a bit of a problem. It's not ideal. That is not ideal. But it is what it is. Uh, it'll help, you know. It'll help. Also over here, um, I don't really need any more army here. I don't need any more army there. But this is an irritating force to fight. Very irritating force to fight, with it being all ranged. So, I wonder what the best course of action is here. Oh, and local recruitment's full, because Voltmar's using it all. Ah! Alright, alright, Franz, you need to get over here. Um, do I want him to just charge this way? How many turns would it take? Only two turns! It would only take two turns. And... Yeah, they are so injured. I don't see them beating anybody, just given how injured they are. Um, they might be... I mean, they are in camp stance, so technically they can use the global recruitment, but that'll take them a little while. So I may have to just ignore them, knowing that they're just somewhere in the woods with their scattered forces. Um, but I also love the fact that Bretonia attacked them and lost. I think that's really fun, because I love the idea of some, like, stupid duke thinking, oh yeah, you know, the, the high elf forces running around the Empire. We'll show, you know, the, yeah, the Empire how it's done. Or, sorry, we'll show the Empire how it is done. And uh, they come in and, and just mess up, because they've completely underestimated the High Elves. And I think that's a great little uh, story moment of just the, the Bretonian arrogance, thinking they can do what we cannot, only to fall flat. I think that's hilarious. Anyway, um, right, well, we're broke, and we have no income right now, because of all these extra armies kicking around. Uh, we will be in minus funds next turn, which is disgusting. Um, I'm amazed how quickly that dropped, just from building this one army, but that's Warhammer, guys. Oh, also, um, yeah, we need to fight off these guys, don't we? So they are on land, so we can attack them. Oh, this shouldn't be bad at all. This shouldn't be bad. So yeah, we can do this. In fact, um, just these Outriders can wipe out the entire army if I micro them enough, so we're fine. So yeah, let's, um, ooh, he's a bit hurt, isn't he? Yep. And we got our, uh, yeah... Yeah, we had to change out Dog Burglar, didn't we? Poor Dog Burglar, that is the worst thing. I'm so sad about that. Um, but yeah, let's fight this battle. Okay, which side am I picking? Um, I guess over here, because my reinforcements are coming this way. It's probably wisest, right? None of the armies are particularly great, so... Uh, and yeah, let's not forget our archers this time. I cannot believe the damage that's been done to all of these guys. It's pretty disgusting. Ugh. This is awful. But he should be able to get some good damage in. He'll be able to get some good damage in, always. And, okay, it looks like it might just be one guy. Perfect. <laughs> yep. Start shooting, mate. In fact, hit him with this fun little arrow. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Alright, you just line up for now. Cool. So yeah, just keep shooting him. 
Yeah, he's he's gonna die pretty soon. Wait, what? Could you not do that? Oh, give it a go, mate. You can do it. Two, one. Is he doing it? Yeah, he is. Not bad, not bad. Didn't kill him though. <laughs> Soon enough. Uh, okay, cool. They're on the way. Okay, you lot. Come over here. Okay. Let's get them over here. You lot will start shooting him. You lot, come in. Yes, sir. Yes, General. You lot will line up over here. You guys line up. Oh, perfect. Thanks. Okay, good. Maybe not the Borderman, though. You guys get away. I don't know where the other reinforcements are coming in. Somewhere, I imagine from somewhere. Okay, good. He's getting melted. You just loiter nearby? Good. And there's more coming from over there. Perfect. So he's getting dealt with. Uh, right. You. Shoot the next one. Let's see. Uh, archers, archers, archers. Out of free company. And you guys. Let's group all of you guys. Good. Oh, and you're going group one too. Excellent. And yeah, our outriders should be able to do this. Should be able to chase him down. Okay, good, he stopped. <laughs> you try and help. Okay, the mortar does not need to be firing at all. Okay, good. Okay, good. Now you guys keep moving up. You guys move up. You move up. And all you lot all move up. Good. So yeah, you start shooting him if you can. Good. Where are his troops? I'm sure there were some Marauder champions kicking about, right? Ah, here they are. Okay, excellent. Got to reach soon enough. But yeah, he's taking mad damage, which is perfect. Okay, you turn around, keep shooting. That's wonderful. Oh, another character there, of course. <laughs> this is so mean. And I love it. Oh yeah, he's he's not having a good time. And he shattered. Yeah, they're all about to break. And dead, probably. Good. Okay, you chase him down. Do want to slow him down a bit. So you guys actually chase him. Because yeah, I just want to wipe out these armies, so I will actually chase him down for once. Just so they don't respawn. So, let's charge him. Kind of want to just keep knocking him over, you know. So the others can catch up. Okay, good. That's more like it. Can you reach yet? Should be able to reach with that. If you can, hopefully you'll stay in range. Okay. Nope, he's not staying in range. Damn it. Alright, slow him down some more. Slow him down some more. And shoot him as we're doing it. And yeah, they're getting... Um, you can just chase him down now. Well, we're getting close to the edge of the map here, which I don't like. It looks like the Outriders are enough, but... I do want to keep knocking him over if I can. Okay, yeah, this is... Uh, this is slowing him down, lovely. Okay, excellent. And <laughs> now everyone starts firing. Now, can you get that done? That'd be lovely. I'd love to finish him off with the hour of Agshi. 
Oh, well, that'll do it. <laughs> Good job. Okay. I just wanted to make sure they were wiped out so I can let that army replenish. Otherwise, they're just going to keep besieging and it's going to cut off replenishment. And that's annoying. So, um, let's cut that out, shall we? A successful sortie. Very successful. We lost, uh, we still lost 42, amazingly. I think that was mostly, um, yeah, halberdiers that we were shooting at by accident. Sort of anti-heroes, though. That's a laugh. Um, good. Yay. Although those magical attacks will affect his ranged attacks, which is really cool. So that's not actually half bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Right, let's go with... Um, yeah, let's execute captives. Just want to make a point here. Oh, good. Got an entertainer. I like that. Sort of anti-heroes. Killed him, killed him, killed him, killed him, killed him. And, um, yes, let's give this guy... Um, well... Extra range for all my archers is lovely. The extra bonus versus large for spearmen and halberd is pretty wonderful. Um, I'm a big fan of that. Um, casualty replenishment, I think, is pretty huge in this sort of area. Um, I like the idea of him being able to do that for people. And, yeah, we can't get into those just yet. Right. Could get some huntsmen, which would be very nice in this army, actually. Would be very nice. But I think we're just going to have to leave it considering how knackered everybody is. So let's go to these details, and let's give you... Oh yeah, income to trade. Um, income from all buildings, 1%. Income from all buildings in the local region. Not the best things in the world. Coachman ain't bad, though. Anything else we can give him? Potion of strength. Seems a bit silly for him. That'll have to do, I guess. Alright. Alright. Now we just have to hope that we uh, can fight off a Lariel. It's going to be a nightmare. It's going to be a nightmare. I mean, just just these two handmaidens and a Lariel herself are going to be an absolute nightmare to kill. Not happy about it. It's annoying, though, because they all do magic damage. And uh, Voltmar, if he was higher level, and <laughs> if they actually still had that, um, the... Nope. I always right-click nowadays because of Three Kingdoms always bring up the skills. Um, but yeah, the Grand Shield of Faith, it used to add the... Um, uh, not Grand Shield of Faith, sorry, Grand Sulfire. Um, it used to add magical resistance for nearby troops. But now they've actually made it so it just doesn't affect friendly troops. That was a limitation of Game 1. So when they implemented this, there was no way of dis like determining whether units were friend or foe. And so they couldn't put in things like uh, Lord Croak spell, for instance, you know, that couldn't tell friend or foe apart. So Grand Soulfire used to be brilliant for adding magical resist. I always used to use it defensively rather than offensively. Um, it was brilliant if you were fighting things that had magic damage just to spam that. And you could uh, just avoid a ton of damage. I love that, but they don't have it anymore, which is really sad. But uh, yeah, if it was high level and had that... He still wouldn't be able to get the benefit, and that's why I'm saying it's annoying. Fighting high elves, it would have been lovely to have that ability. Um, you know. Oh, yeah, so Oldorf is actually level 5 now, which is kind of wild. So we could get the Imperial Palace. It's going to take weeks to get, because um, we're not earning that much <laughs> at the moment. Not earning that much at all. It's a bit of a problem. God, our economy sucks. Ugh. Speaking of which, let's level this up while we have a bit of cash, shall we? Let's do that. And uh, Theodoric Gorsa, I think, needs to just make a beeline um, for the elves down here. Because I might even need to disband him. Honestly. I might need to even disband him. So, let's actually have a quick look at the elect count system. Because we only have Theodoric Gorsa here. We don't have anyone in uh, Midland. Uh, Midland or Marienburg. Or, or in Hogland. So, we're really not doing great here. So, yeah. so Eckhard Meyer is the one we have defending here, right? Nope, that's Gerhard Sudenhof. Uh, maybe Sudenhof should be helping defend the Drakwald. Maybe he should be the one doing that. Uh, what's the Legbiter? Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can see that working. In a way. Sort of. Enables magical attacks. So we'll still have that magical attack stuff. Hmm. It's annoying because all the rune fangs are obviously they're melee weapons and they're always best in melee. So having them on huntsman generals is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. We go on, there we go, perfect. And over here, I think I might make Voltmar in charge. I might put him in charge. 
And the benefit of that is that he is actually immortal because he's a legendary lord. So I never have to worry about him dying. Okay, he can always take the reins of Marienburg and try and, you know, bring the faith back to Marienburg, which I think is fun. Um, as far as Hockland's concerned, I don't know. Maybe another hunter, honestly. Maybe I get Eckhard Meyer. Uh, Marcus of Witzenheimer actually was um, one of the armies I disbanded when we took over Hockland, I think. Wasn't he? If I'm remembering that correctly, then this is appropriate. Because this was one of the... This was the top general, right? Besides, um... Uh... Alderbrand, that's the one. So, yeah, Alderbrand Ludenhoff. So, I'm going to put him in charge. So, let's do that. So, okay. So, he's got the Midland Rune Fang. So, he can, uh... He can regenerate, which is kind of cool. Volkmar will get extra income from ports and better public order. Um, and extra income from buildings, so that's all nice. It's actually put our income up quite substantially, just him being there. And Hockland Runefang has gone to this guy. What's the Hockland Runefang again do? Um, wow, minus 60 armor and minus 27 melee defense is gigantic. I love that. Very cool. So let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. And yeah, hopefully they won't be able to attack it straight away. Hopefully. And I can bring Carl Franz to help. Because I want Carl Franz to get that sword. That would be wonderful. Especially because he doesn't have Galmaraz yet. Um, I think that would be hilarious. Saying that, he doesn't have Galmaraz yet, does he? How do I get it? Oh, I need to fight greenskin tribes. Ugh. So annoying. Someone mentioned actually in the comments I should have just farmed those um, battles from Black Pit. Because I'm pretty sure the Skull Smashers, yeah, the Skull Smashers are gone too. So there's no... Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sartosa. Jesus. Okay. They've been doing well. That's a problem. That's going to be fun. That's actually great. I kind of love it when factions start failing horribly. That's wonderful to me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, brilliant. Let's deal with them. Let's deal with them at some point. Hopefully, befriend some more wood elves. We've already befriended one. So, let's uh, let's move on. We've been on this turn a while. Okay, they're attacking. They're attacking over there. And no doubt, attacking over here. Nope, not yet. They're not attacking yet. Ooh. Elariel's waiting. Oh god, I... Th in my mind, she is waiting for Karl Franz to turn up. Oh, Van Heimlings are doing a little bit too well against Bretonia here as well. It's not ideal. Okay, so that's under siege. Um, so one thing I do want to do, at least try. War coordinate. And, oh, really? You guys made peace with Aval... You're only at war with them, aren't you? Oh, that's actually quite annoying. That's the thing with defensive alliances, I guess. Um, because... Avalon turned up as um, Tyrion's ally. Um, it was only the people who instigated the war, basically. You know, the two sort of main players of the war that are at war with each other, and then ev all the allies are at war with the instigator of the war, but not all the other allies. Uh, which I think is a bit annoying, actually. I feel like they should be at war with that entire enemy. You know what I mean? So that's a pity. But uh, yeah, so this army is going to be a bit tough, but I think we can handle it. I think we just have the numbers. The sheer numbers should be able to deal with these guys very well. Um, I am a little bit worried about all the arrow fire. Because these are all pretty high chevrons as well. So I'm a little bit concerned that you know units like uh, the Bordermen are just going to get shot to pieces before they can put themselves to good use. But we'll see. Hopefully I can just use Eckhard Meyer to um, you know shoot down these characters. Um, handmaidens don't have much armor. So I think shooting at her would be wise. So this could work out pretty well. Alright, wish me luck, guys. Okay, so, got reinforcements coming from back there. I hate the reinforcement system. It's so annoying. Um, they're garrisoned in the same place. They would be attacking together. Stop doing this to me, game. But anyway, whatever. Um, it's all good. So, uh... I mean, they can't shoot while moving, right? So... Yeah. So I guess I could position him further forward and just run him backwards. And he can just shoot as he goes. Probably wouldn't get much done, but... Something. You have to be pretty close to her, so I'm going to get shot at. Quite a bit. Might be worth trying to take out an Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower, though. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Wow. That garrison. It's pretty good. It really is pretty good. And you guys line up. And, oh god, they're shooting you with those two. Luckily, a lot of missing. Wow, very little damage there. 
Have you shot them yet? Yes. You did nothing, didn't you? You did nothing. You hit the edge, didn't you? <laughs> yes, you did. Great. Thanks. Thanks, mate. Wonderful. Alright, so. I got my outriders. Got my other outriders. Mortars are brilliant in this matchup. Just having them fire at Lothen Seaguard. Lothen Seaguard are going to get crippled. Which is wonderful. Ha! <laughs> uh, how about no? I mean, this works for me. Oh god, scattershot coming in. Don't like that much. Don't like that much. But, Mortar should be able to do some great work here. Okay, let's try and shoot her. Or is it a him? I, I can't tell at a glance. Oh my word. That's too much arrow fire. You need to get out of there, mate. I can't afford to lose another. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh god. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> oh no. We're good. We're good. Probably. Oh wow. They're getting melted. Excellent. Excellent news. Alright, you go kill them. You run in. Explode them, please. Thanks. And, uh, yeah, you just keep running, mate. This is terrible news for you. But yeah, our, uh, our halberdiers are suffering substantial damage from all this archer fire, which I'm not happy about. But should be okay. Should be okay. How are mortars doing? Zero kill so far? Have you hit anything yet? Like, you're just hitting trees, aren't you? Seems like it. Seems like it. It's okay. It's okay. We'll do fine. Much better. Good. Yep. You're getting stuck in. Uh, you go deal with them. Where are you? Uh, oh, never mind. They're getting dealt with. You can push in now. And now I can use a wind blast. <laughs> Good times. Excellent. And there we go. Job done. So yeah, we took some damage. That's the thing with enemy, like, just huge amounts of ranged armies. It becomes a bit of a problem. Okay, try and hit it with that. Eventually, if you can. Okay, now you get out of there. You strike here. Still causing some problems, these guys, I must say. And let's try and finish them off. Great. Uh, try and help out those halberdiers. Because, yeah, they're very hurt. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Yeah, start trying to kill him if you can. Good. They've shattered. And they're still shooting, are they? How rude. And uh, nope, no line of sight for him. Of course. There never is. And you can just stop. No need for you to fight anything. And how about he's running? That's fine. Don't have to worry too much about that. Okay. Yeah, I did the job. That'll do. Cool. <laughs> we always have the upper hand, he says. Um, after he nearly died to a hail of arrows. Which is hilarious. Ooh, charmed shield. That's very useful. Yeah, that missile parry is especially nice. Oh, that's only if he's got a shield, which he doesn't. Even though the charm shield is a shield, it doesn't count that he has a shield, even though he picks up a shield, because it's not a shield. What? Yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> so, anyway. So that's annoying. So that won't give him the, uh, the missile parry. But it will give him the damage resistance, at least, and the extra melee defense. That's it's something. Um, I'm going to pardon the captives, because... Um, they're high elves, right? They're high elves. They're supposed to be my allies, so I, I, I know it's not them. Okay, they're they're being misled by their master. You know, she has the sword of Cain. She has been corrupted. These people have not. They don't realize what they're doing. That's that's my reasoning. That and hopefully this will help diplomacy later if I can win them back over once I take the sword of Cain from them. Which I think would be pretty cool. Pretty cool way to go about it, you know. 
pretty cool story perspective if I can win them over afterwards. Uh, hopefully they won't hold a grudge. I mean, they live a lot, a lot longer than we do. I know it's not the elves that are known for grudges, but the dwarves, but they still live a long time, so, you know, to them holding a grudge for a hundred years, being annoyed at us for a hundred years from that battle, it's not much. You know, they'll still remember being in those battles um, and be annoyed at us. But hopefully they might remember us letting them go, in which case that's great. Um, extra reload skill, missile damage, and armor-piercing missile damage for nearby people is kind of nice. I do like that. Um, the extra replenishment and campaign movement range is really nice. Um, so this is for Eckhard Meyer, who's up here. Yeah, I think we're going to need to get him into this stuff. We need Emperor's Finest, at least, because he's going to have a bunch of cheap state troops for a lot of this, and just getting these guys a bunch of, like, uh, melee yeah. defense would be wonderful for keeping them in place longer. So, uh, right. So Volkmar, having been sent ahead, is doing well. These guys don't seem to be recruiting anything, but it will take one more turn for them to have recruited something, is the thing. So now, this one I find out he's got bloody lightning strike or something, isn't it? Okay, if I just go normal move, I can get here. So that's good. Alright, this is just crazy. <laughs> and I love it. Let's deal with the Sword of Cain. Uh, corruption is going up because of events, not because the Sword of Cain is sat here, which is fine. But yeah, I think this army is doable, you know. I think between, you know, a Luminarch of Hirsch blasting Treekin down, although, I mean, that is a lot of Sisters of Avalon, so I will need to make sure I make great use of my cavalry. Or oh, actually, the Mortars should be able to just pound these guys into the dust. So, um, yeah, I think this is possible. I think it's possible. The main problem is the Sword of Cain, which is just crazy good. It's just crazy good. It's going to rampage us, lower our melee defense a ton, do massive damage to us. Oh, disgusting. Disgusting. Does she have, um... She has a shield stone. The Boom of Isha. But, and the Horn of Isha, but she doesn't seem to have the Star of Avalon. So, she's not going to have the massive healing there, but she will still be using Earth Blood, so it's something. Eep. Not fun. Not fun. Right. Grunberg. Could level this up too. I just need to do anything I can to put my income up. That's that's the plan. That is the plan. Right. Theodoric Gorsa. Where can he go? Where can he go? Um, do I send him north to hold this properly? And I can bring uh, Gerhard Southernhof down a bit? I don't know. Uh, this is definitely the army I'd like to hang around, you know. It's just a much better army. Theodoric Corsa. So yeah, let's head him back to Southland. And yeah, he can fight Norskins all day. This guy, though, I may... I think I'm actually going to disband his army. Um, because I don't think he's going to be on payroll here. He's going to be just in Midland, right? fighting stuff in the Drakwald, just keeping peace, right, as an elect account. He's just going to be doing the hunting and stuff, and uh, organizing court. He's not actually going to be fielding an army, in my mind. There's more work for Huntsman Generals to be doing on a local level, just keeping the peace, you know, stopping, um, sort of, uh, invading Herdstone, stopping beastmen from gathering in too big a force, that kind of stuff. So, that's what he's going to be doing. He's not going to be managing an army past, uh, you know, past the time it takes for Theodoric to get up here. So that will save me a ton of money. I mean, it's cost me 2,700 just for this army, but also you've got to take supply lines into account. I'm spending an extra 10 grand, almost 11 grand on nothing, right? So, yep. Hopefully that'll go down to 50%. I'll get an extra 10% back as well as that. So it'll be, I'll save like, yeah, like four grand almost. So yeah, that'll be good. Just be able to disband that army. Voltmar, though, I want him to be an army because he's a legendary lord and it's Voltmar, so of course I want him to be leveled up. So, okay, next turn, hopefully we can attack Alariel. Um, and hopefully beat her and take the Sword of Cain, which would be amazing. Emperor Carl Franz with the Sword of Cain, can you imagine it? I think it's going to be wild, but also very dangerous, because that's not a good thing. That is not a good thing for a human to be holding, so we'll see. See how it goes. Okay, so Mayron is heading up to Helmgard, but he doesn't really have the strength left. Alariel is trying to flee, so we will have to chase her. 
Okay, Amon is heading south as well, but again, that is not an army that can defeat any of my garrisons anymore. So, we're laughing. Oh, no. Oh, are you kidding? Argwalan, Dirthu, what are you doing, mate? You're not... You're not some crazy lunatic. Oh. Dirthu's supposed to be the one who just sits in, you know... Wood Elf territory. Just sits in Athalor and doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't like outsiders and just grumbles about a bit. Right? It's, it's Orion who's supposed to go crazy and go on a wild hunt. So this is a problem. We're going to be at war with Wood Elves over here. Which I do not like. I do not like that. I want to win over the Wood Elves. Um, although they really hate me just because they clearly hate Bretonia. So it might be hard to win them over. Just all the Elves hate us these days. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, we're at war with them too. Thank god we've got a fort at Helmgart. Okay, so it's been a confederation. So Paravon is now part of Bretonia, which is I think what triggered that war. Suddenly, um, the Wood Elves are like, hang on a moment. Um, although it's crazy, because like, like, <laughs> Leon Kerr would do anything for the lady. And as you know, the lady is, is not actually a god. Um, so, yeah, the Wood Elves should not be um, that annoyed that Lewin is uniting Bretonia and gaining in strength. They want Bretonia to be doing that. So this is a problem. All right, so uh, let's have a look here. Blessings of Sigma. So what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, move Voltmar up here and then move Prince Karl Franz up here Emperor. in ambush stance nearby. That way, they'll probably look at Voltmar and go, I can fight that. And then Karl Franz can ambush. Because I don't think we can afford to fight fair when we're fighting, you know, someone wielding the Sword of Cain. So, Voltmar, I really, I really hope you do alright here, buddy. I really hope you do alright here. But hey, you got Gundam and Shawfires to help you. That's something, right? Right? Yeah? <laughs> Uh, okay, so hopefully he'll get attacked. And hopefully Cal Franz won't get spotted in there, but he probably will, because there's so many bloody characters in range that I think if all of these do change it by 10%, as I assume, there's only like a 10% chance he's going to be able to stay in here and uh, not be discovered. But I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to catch her. You know? Because, yeah, look at this. I can't reach. I can't reach her because of the river, which is annoying. Very annoying. So we're going to try and flee. We have met before. Hmm. Although, no, Avalon goes before Bretonia, don't they? I yeah. I was thinking if I can move in range, then this guy could attack. Because she's in March stance, she will get dragged into a fight with my armies. But, yeah, she goes before Bretonia. So she'll be able to run off before Bretonia can attack and trigger that. Which is a real shame, because that would have been a nice way to do it too. And... It'll be us fighting with our allies, which I think is brilliant. We haven't really done that yet, have we? So, um, that would be lovely, I think. Alright, let's move him up. Get to Seltzenmund. Okay, you've got Seltzens to Mund. Alright, Huntsman General. Guard Southernhof, thank you for your service. And, uh, shame to get rid of the, um, Bordermen here. They're actually very, very high level, because they were the first ones I recruited, weren't they? Yeah, they were. There's room here. Tell you what. Let's make sure the Bordermen stay in active service. I think that's important. Here you go. Atta boy. Thank you for your service. Uh, also, the Death Jacks will be... He'll be taking it with him. I'm fine with that. So, um, yep. Good. Our income just went up substantially. Not as substantially as I would have liked. I feel like that should have gone up far more substantially. But it could be that thing where it's not calculating properly and I'll build something and it'll suddenly go, Oh yeah, I know how to that. I know how to do the sums. Let's find out. Nope, that didn't trigger anything. Alright, no idea. Whatever, it's fine. So yeah, hopefully this ambush will work. Um, I really, really, really hope it works. I really want to stop this nonsense that's going on. We can't let the Sword of Cain rest there, even if we are going to take it Gollum style. So, unassigned skill points. Oh, Celestial Wizard's got to level up. That's lovely. In that case, let's uh, do Wind Blast some more. Just make it as cheap as possible, because Wind Blast is awesome. Also, we probably don't need Eckhart Meyer down here, like up here, either. We can probably afford to disband him, too. Um, 
at some point, now that we have Voltmar the Grim able to defend all this. Except, I would like Voltmar and Karl to head over here and start killing some vampires fairly soon. And Greenskins, wow. Yeah, Greenskins are really pushing the dwarves back. How are you doing, dwarves? How are you doing? Four settlements, Jesus. Greenskins, 22. Yeah, dwarves aren't doing so good, guys. We're going to have to help out Thorgrim here. Although, um, they seem to have favorable auto-resolve in the mid to late game for the dwarves. So what tends to happen, at least historically, I don't know if it will with this patch because things have obviously changed a bit. But uh, what tends to happen is they suddenly go from losing every battle to suddenly being, like, if they have a full stack, it cannot lose. And uh, they can, yeah, keep building up. But even sort of in the mid game, like now, they're going to have a stack and a half in every territory just because they have barely anything left. And so, um, yeah, they're just not going to be able to get conquered really by the, the odd full stack coming to fight them. So you never know. They might be able to hold on for a long, long time and then suddenly explode again. Because that often happens. That often happens. So, uh, Old Dwarf. Can't build. Yeah, I can't build anything. Let's just get to the next turn. Ugh, this is so tense. Again, this guy not interested in uh, fighting us over there. He's trying to escape, I think, down the Reich. Possibly trying to get to his allies to help. Oh, and our ambush has been foiled, so I'm not sure we'll be able to chase him down. Okay. They didn't move. Which is brilliant. We should be able to catch her now. But, <laughs> Wintertooth now owns all of Norska. I'm pretty sure they have all of Norska now. Oh, oh, except Ostland is making progress, which is pretty hilarious. Wow. I don't know if Krakadrak and uh, the Tower of Crack here are both owned by Hellpit at this point. But, oh, this kind of sucks, actually. It means the, the, can't remember what they're called. What are the dwarves up here called? Krakadrak, right? They've just called that. Anyway, um, they've been, they've been wiped out by the looks of it, which is a bit of a shame. That is a pity. I liked it when there were some dwarves up here. Oh, they might have got wiped out before, before Thorgrim was able to meet them again. Although that's impossible. Thorgrim's the... So, okay. So, fun fact, right? Uh, Thorgrim and Ungrim Iron Fist, you know, from Karak Kadrin, um, they... So, the Slayer King, you know. They were both up to be High King, right? They were both up for being the High King. And Ungrim Iron Fist did a very Ungrim thing and went and fought, like, a bunch of stuff, just trying to get the biggest trophy. Ended up killing... I think the, I think the big trophy found, he killed a giant that was very famous for ruin everyone's day. So anyway, he managed to kill a giant and basically just brought its head along and went, look, I'm awesome. But then Thorgrim went, oh yeah, so um, I'm all about reuniting all the dwarves and, you know, making um, sort of uh, the dwarf empire an actual empire again, you know, creating uh, safe passage through the under you know, the under, uh, the underways and really just forging the old um, empire of the dwarves, you know. So, great, right? You know, making the, the Karakun, the, what was it, the Karakun core? Something like that. Um, whole again. Just, you know, pretty rad. And he kind of nailed it because he actually met the, um, he actually managed to get the guys at Krakadrak back into the fold. And everyone thought they were long, 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 long dead. No one knew there were still dwarves up here, but Thorgrim managed to actually uh, find them and bring them back into the fold. So that was huge. That was a huge deal to rediscover lost Karaks. Uh, which is amazing. So yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So yeah, they made him king. And Ungrim was like, fair play, mate. Fair play. I had no idea they still existed. Um, that's huge. Suddenly, there are more dwarfs. You know, that's great. So, it was fun. Anyway, uh, so yeah, they've confederated. That's what I was getting at. They're, they're Norska's united now, which is annoying. So we're at war with literally all of Norska now. Rather than just a bit of it. Which means he probably can't move because armies be coming from this way too. So Eckhard Meyer is going to have to sit there. But our income has gone up. It's finally calculated that correctly. So we're actually making some money for once. Hell to the yes. So. Kind of want to start upgrading this stuff. Because getting some demigriffs would be wild. Because they're so good. Um, or. Do I want to start getting something else? I might just save up my money. One more turn. Well, actually, two more turns, I can get that. One more turn, because I'll have loot. Okay, cool. You there, let's level you up. Let's level up the net of Amantok. Good. Be nice to be able to net a bunch of stuff in place. So, Volkmar, you're going to be reinforcements. 
And you are going to attack. Let's hope we can actually catch them. Because they're going to try and flee. They're fleeing off this way. Okay. No, stop it. Stop, stop moving. Oh my god, now we're pushing up this way so we can be even further away from them. Really? He can attack though. Can I get within range? I can if I have all my guys tired. Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. But it has to be done. Really, there's a bit of mountain or something there. There was a bit of... Did you see that? There was a little icon saying you'd suffer from attrition there. Yeah, just there, look. What on earth? Just a bit of attrition there. Alright, Voltmar, you're leading the charge. Which sounds disastrous, but it's fine. We have reinforcements. It's okay. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Oh, the Sword of Cain. I don't want to fight the Sword of Cain. Or Billion Scissors of Avalon. I don't want to fight any of this. It's going to be mental. So, um, wish me luck, boys. Wish me luck. And girls. I know there's 1.5% women watch my things. So, you guys too. You know, guys and girls. Let's fight. Alright, so. So, so, so. We're going to hide in the back of the map. Hooray. And you can go way up there. And that might be okay. Also, here's the uh, Gundaman Shorefires. They actually look really cool. I love them in the green. They look great. Check these guys out. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So what is their thing? Stalk. They can stalk. Very cool. Very cool. Also, we've got the Tattersoles. Tattersoles will be able to keep things busy for ages, but we're definitely going to want them in trees. Uh, the Free Company are just going to get shot two pieces, but hey, it's all good. And uh, yes, behold the light of Sigma. Always behold the light of Sigma. It's just good advice. So here's Carl. Attaboy, Carl. We can net some people, which is great. We've got a great swords. I like Kalaberg. Great swords, which are going to be just horribly, horribly murdered by all of those ranged units. Which I'm not happy about. Um, you can move up a bit. You're unbreakable. So I like the idea of them delaying while we Luminarch stuff. God, this is the most irritating kerfuffle. That's what this is called, by the way, a kerfuffle. A kerfuffle of battle cards, of unit cards. That's what it's called when it's a mess. Alright, you head over there. In fact, both of you head over there. Pistoliers, loiter. Rights guard, loiter. Uh, who am I missing? Oh, wow, still a bunch over here. Alright, you guys, you guys, all line up in the front. Good. So what's the range on this bad boy? Pretty big? Pretty big? But, uh, yeah, these mortars need to get into position. Ugh, I have to go through the trees, which sucks. But, they can start shooting Sisters of Avalon. Um, let's spread out the damage a bit between those two. These should be able to catch these guys unawares. Hopefully. Hopefully. But yeah, this is a bit of a nightmare. Okay, you start shooting Treekin. Yeah, all you guys go on. Ooh, good hit. Killed one already. And they're shooting my Tattersoles that aren't doing very well. <laughs> they're not doing so hot. Not doing so hot. Yeah, they're gonna get they're gonna get wiped out. But they're gonna get wiped out for Sigma, so I'm cool with it. Okay, you start charging in. Another big hit. That's another dead one. And now where is my Temple of Luminarch? There you are, buddy. Uh start shooting that handmaiden. Okay. Start charging in. Do not like the damage. It's being done over here. Uh, you start charging it over here, and oh good, good, they've made them insane. That's lovely. Oh my word. Please don't kill me. Okay, now you guys, yeah, shoot the tree kin. Perfect. Alright, you jump in. This is dangerous as hell. Super dangerous. But, hopefully... And get some good work done over here. Luminarch doing some great work against those handmaidens, which I'd love to see. Big fan of that. They're getting shot to pieces. 
Oof. Yeah, it's going all right. It's going all right. Let's buff them. Oh my god. All right, you guys get out of there. My word. All right, you get some good shots. Good. Good. All right, Luminarch, you've shattered one. Go for the next. Now, where on earth is Alariel? There she is. I'll tell you what, Luminarch's probably trying to snipe her. Okay, now you back off. You guys run in. And, okay, this is going well. They're in a lot of trouble. So you start shooting there. And I haven't been using any spells. Let's just use some of those, shall we? Okay. Try and get a Lariel if you can. Okay. Good. Damage being done. Our Tatasol survived. Which is very nice. Try and chase them down. And, yep. Try and kill a Lariel. Perfect. Gotta kill her. Okay, excellent. Nearly gone. Nearly dead. Come on, Carl. You can do it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Sword of Cain's mine. Although I really shouldn't be taking it because it's um, uh, basically a source of pure evil. But we're silly humans and easily corrupted. So what you gonna do? All right then. So, uh, only lost 275 men, which I think is pretty good considering the like damage potential of all of these units. Um, but yeah, given the amount of damage our mortars did, I think that was wonderful. Uh, our bordermen did incredibly well. 123 kills. A lot of that on um, Sisters of Avalon and you know and the Sea Guard in the back line, which is pretty great. Treekin, they held. Our lines back fairly well, but luckily we had enough guns just to whittle them down. We did good. This was this was very successful. This was very successful. They just didn't have enough sort of front line stuff to hold um, the tide back, you know. It just meant they couldn't protect the quite squidgy units, you know. But I guess it helps to have a bunch of grenade launchers. I mean, yeah. Bow and arrow or grenade launcher? Probably grenade launcher, right? So, yeah. So that was good. That was good. Alariel is dead. Um, I mean, she'll be fine, but she's dead. We're going to pardon the captives. Because we're still good. And they're still good, supposedly. Um, Volkmar managed to get, uh, wow, mad missile resistance and melee defense, which I really like. Sort of striking. The sword calls to you. Hang on, is this going to be something that Volkmar is going to get? Can you re-equip it to someone else? Because it was Karl Franz that killed her, but the battle was instigated by Voltmar. So it'd be Voltmar that would take the Sword of Cain. But I don't think Voltmar would do it. That's the problem here. That is the problem for me. Um, that is definitely the issue that I have with this. Is Volkmar would never take some artifact like that. In my mind. He's too righteous. For one, it's not a hammer. So, you know, it's stupid. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't see him doing it. I don't see him taking it, it at all. But if I can, if I can swap it to a different character, I can give it to Carl Franz because to me he was the one that was, you know, integral in that battle. Volkmar just caught them out. So anyway, uh, Sword of Cain will always be drawn to the powerful. You have defeated its most recent owner, and even as their body cools, the sword cools to you. The power of a god bound within the blade, waiting to be unleashed. Claim it. Oh, we also got the Black Lions. Hell yeah. Hell to the yeah. I love that. And yeah, Voltmar's got it. And the Sunmaker. Jeez. Sword of Cain. Thirsting. Oh yeah, because it's got different levels, doesn't it? Yeah, I chose how often I get the Sword of Cain in a campaign. I forget that it does stuff. Um, but yeah, this is all huge, obviously. It's pretty massive. But it's for Voltmar right now, and I don't want Voltmar to have it. So, let's see if it's possible to move it. I kind of doubt it. Um, hmm. Nope. Apparently not. You can't swap it. So Volkmar has it. 
which I think is incredibly unappropriate. Like, it's just inappropriate for Voltmar to have this, sadly. Um, but I'm going to keep it for a while. Um, I've decided, right, I'm going to write it in into our canon here, into our little, you know, um, the internal workings of this particular campaign. Volkmar took it, because obviously it's a terrible treasonous thing and it has to be locked up in the vaults in Altdorf. But he is still a silly human, and carrying it to dispose of it like that, um, there's a very big chance that he may end up wielding it in battle. Fingers crossed, guys. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want to get rid of it. I want to be able to use it, because it's an awesome thing. So, in my mind... Voltmar is carrying it in order to destroy it, because only the Grand Theogenist can be trusted with such a heretical, you know, piece of magical nonsense. Um, so, that's that's what I'm going with, okay? So I'm going to go with Grand Hammer Sigmar, because that's rad. I love that. Um, but yeah, yeah, so that's the plan, okay? He's taking it because he's the only one that can be trusted, and maybe Karl Franz has the sense not to touch it. Let's go with that, because Franz is a clever guy. He is a clever guy, so... You know, I was saying that I was just classing him as a human before, just a normal human before. Just basically so I had an excuse to use the sword. But no, fine, Voltmar can have it, right? Voltmar's got it now, and that's fine. So, whatever. That'll have to do. So, let's defend the rest of the nation. For all the nation calls. Oh, hell yeah, we can upgrade that. I didn't reserve so much money. Damn. Okay, this is all stuff I really want to build, sadly. Because um, I do really want to get this upgraded. Really want to get this upgraded. Because then we can get the top thing here. It'd be an extra thousand if we can get Marienburg port here. Costs a pretty penny though, doesn't it? Wow. But still, it's only going to be 13 turns to pay for it. And that's the main gripe with uh, with those buildings being more expensive these days. Uh, so our income's gone down again for some reason. Don't know what keeps doing that. It's very odd. Oh, Voltmar's not at home anymore. That's what it is. He needs to be home. He needs to get back to Marienburg, which he can't quite get to. But yeah, he needs to be back in Marienburg so we get the income bonus for ports. Um, which is why he really shouldn't be um, the, the elector. So I might swap him out for something else later. But for now, until we get Marienburg upgraded and build a Shrine of Sigma, he, he's here managing it, okay? Then we'll give it to someone else. So... What now? I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it for this episode, too. It's just it generally. But we have the Sword of Cain now. We have the Sword of Cain. And Voltmar will obviously dispose of that. Or try to. I mean, he can't really dispose of it because he's a mortal man and the sword is, you know, the, it's the embodiment of a god. So obviously, it's a bit beyond him. And uh, possibly even a bit beyond the power of Sigma. He's kind of on even terms, right? It's it's a god versus a god. What I mean, what's going to happen? Um, so yeah, yeah, he's not going to be able to get rid of that sword, but it's not going to stop him from trying for the good of Sigmar and the Empire and all the rest of it. So, this is a fun, I think this is a fun way to reason why he has the sword of Cain, because obviously he will be tempted to use it whenever he gets into a battle, because he is only mortal. So, you know, try as you might, um, he's not infallible. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.